Hello, planner babes and planner bros. This is Chrissy, your imperfect planner, and this is my new homebody planner uh, mini, and it's a horizontal layout. I did. I don't know how I feel about it, but I got this extension pack so I could use it before. And my page, I don't know. I had started to use it and then didn't, and then I thought if I would just go ahead and use it. Decorate it up pretty, maybe I'll use it. So I am starting fresh with it, and I use my Tombow tape runner to put some tape on there, tape those two pages together. And as you see, I don't quite like the way it goes. At first, I keep taking it off and bending my pages and trying to get on there perfectly because the world will end if I don't. But uh, finally, I get it there, and I think this is the time. Or if I, oh no, I'm begging it not to, not to glue down too easy. But the stickers that uh, you see there on my left, those are stickers that I got either at Hobby Lobby or Walmart. I think these, the leaves there on the left hand side are from Walmart. And the Thanksgiving ones were from Hobby Lobby. It's when the paper studio is half off. And you, I would get one package, you get two. So you're basically getting two little sheets for a dollar. So I'll get them every now and then. I stick them in my sticker storage book. And this is what I am using. Trying to get rid of them, really, because, you know, they're just more stickers to put in there so I figured I'd try to use these these are really pretty and they're little glittery and I thought well maybe if it's pretty I will use the weekly layout I usually just use the monthly layout but it's Thanksgiving week so why not so I am lining up my Thanksgiving greetings there and I keep repositioning it because as I said the world will end if I don't have it perfectly on the line but I get that on there it's like oh well okay I'm really not used to decorating horizontal because I started in a vertical so that's all I've really played with um, I thought I would like a vertical mini but as I got to watching Mary Ellen's not really happy with hers from planning with Bumble. Um, but she doesn't use it for a whole, whole lot either. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll probably just keep going with this one because I really don't want to buy another one. I don't want to buy extension packs. So I'm just going to try to decorate this one. So these leaves, you can't really tell. They have a glitter on them. And it goes off the page. So I'm going to clip that off. And I'm admiring, and I'm like, doofus, you have it upside down. So, I'm like, okay, what can I do with a horizontal? I don't know what to do with a horizontal. So, I have this whole little autumn section in my sticker book, and it's sh shrunk down drastically since fall, obviously. But I'm like, oh, a turkey. I wish I would have re remembered that I had this bird, because I have two of them, because they're two sheets that are exactly the same. And I would have put the bird in my uh, classic, which I still may. You just never know about me. But I thought he looked good there. And then I started putting leaves around because, you know, fall. And we got to use the leaves. And then I thought, huh, those are cute little icons, kind of. I'll just put these by the days of the week. So I try to find different colors. and. I love my tweezers. I don't know about you all for positioning uh, smaller icon stickers or whatever just to see if you like it even. Mine just came with my Cricut. So there are my Cricut scissors and the pouch and that's just all from that. And it works just fine. I could go in the bathroom and get my tweezers in there and it'd be just fine. Sorry if you hear my dogs are barking. Rex is outside and probably tangled in his line. And We put a privacy fence up so the little booger couldn't jump. And we have a fairly big backyard for him to run around in, but he's jumping the privacy fence. So we're waiting for him to get a little bigger, a little fatter. Maybe he won't be jumping so much, but we'll see. 
All right, I'm trimming off my little leaves. So I thought, oh, it's coming together. It might, might win me over to the horizontal layout, but we'll see. All right, I think that said notes, and I'm going to white that out. I tried to white it out with my Tombow tape runner. That's not going to work. So, all right, I'm like, what can I use? What can I use? How can I not overload it? I, you can tell I'm just beside myself because I really don't know what to do with it. Oh, pumpkins, pumpkins. Won't be able to use those much longer. Well, I'll have them for next year. But I love these colors. The fire colors. Roy is my buddy. Red, orange, and yellow. I just love it. Of course, you get that green in there. And then, you know, what are you going to do? I don't know what I'm trying to do there. Trying to peel off a sticker, maybe. See my big fat head. This was kind of a last minute video, so just kind of bear with me. Oh, yeah, the chalkboard. I thought it was so, so cute. I can't remember what I used it in the other one because I had two. So I thought, hmm. Oh, I ended up having to white out something else. Of course. But I hang it up there on the side, just to the side of my punch holes. I didn't want to have to repunch it. So cute. Okay, we're a little bottom heavy. What what can I do here? And then I had sticker guts stuck to my pages, so I had to pull that off. And Mary Ellen was talking about how she ends up with stickers all over her. <laughs> and I picture her. I go take a shower and there's a sticker in my hair. And I'm not real sure how long it was there or how it got there to begin with. But, you know, the things we do for our planners. And uh, there we go. There's my other leaf sticker. And I started carrying a purse to the shock and awe of my family and friends because it holds my planner quite frankly. Oh, you're carrying a purse that holds my planner. That's just the way it is. So, yeah, now i got to get used to having a purse. Usually I just put my wallet in my pocket and go on, but now things are getting a little different in our lives, and I'm trying to manage the household a little bit more because my husband's gone a lot, but planning really helps calm me down and just think things through and just do something creative. I think we've all had those moments where we just wanted to sit down and just make something, be productive somehow. And these are little corn husks here. I thought they were so cute. And then I couldn't figure out where to put them. And it kind of stuck itself. So there we go. Now we're really bottom heavy. And I kind of figure out how to do that. And unheavy it. <laughs> to even it out a little more. But then I wanted to use these leaves because they are so sparkly. They have like a gold glittery on there. I don't think you can really tell from the video. But well, maybe you can. But I guess it just depends on what, you, what you're watching this video on. All seven of you. But uh, I put it right there on the edge. I thought, oh, boy, I really didn't see how bottom heavy that was. But that's okay. The world is not going to end. Oh, changed my mind. Go figure. I think I did see how bottom heavy that was that time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember cutting this off now. Ugh, see, I don't remember what I did yesterday. That's why I need a planner, you guys. Oh, much better. Kind of still a little bottom heavy, but evening it out a little bit better. And I'm looking around. What else can I do? When in doubt, leaves. When in doubt, throw down some leaves because it always looks good. You look outside any time of year, there's going to be a leaf on the ground. Rather, it's all wadded up and wet in the, the mud or snow or muddy snow, but there's always leaves. 
and I was just trying to make sure there was something in each box. Didn't have to be very big, but I wanted something. So there we go. And then I figured, hey, I'm ignoring this other page. So I start pulling this out. I thought that was cute. The flowers with pumpkins. And I love sunflowers and daisies and stuff like that. And as you can tell, I'm having a hard time finding out where I want to put it. I think I end up trimming the bottom of it so it didn't go all the way up. I wanted it under the day of the week there, but it was so tall it covered it. So I just cut off the bottom of the pumpkin and stuck it on on there. There we go. Don't be afraid to cut your stickers. Sticker surgery is no big deal. Don't be afraid to cut two stickers and put them together to make it what you want. Make it how it would make you happy. So, I'm still trying to figure out. I've got some open spots. I've got some empty boxes. Okay, I decided to go ahead and do um, the month, the days of the week, and or the dates. The days of the week so are already printed on there. This was an undated extension pack. I think all the extension packs are undated. But um, just to use for a couple months until January. So I let her in November, and then I start doing my numbers. And I tell you what, I have my handwriting number two, and I have my drawing number two. And there's my hand lettering number two on those two days. And then what do I do? I just do my handwriting number two. And I was like, oh, no. But like, eh, I'm just going to go on with it. That's where I spot. I wanted to just choke myself, but I didn't want to white it out because I hate writing on whiteout. So I just left it as it was and went on. I figured if anybody's going to be too picky, they can decorate their own darn planner. <laughs> they don't have to use this one. Oh, I can't believe we're getting into December. Oh, I'm still trying to figure out where February went. But I still have some empty boxes. Oh, and that pen was a paper make flare, by the way, in case you need to know. Those are expensive. Hobby Lobby, 40% off coupon, thanks. But boy, they are really good. If you need something really thin, though, I recommend La Pens from Hobby Lobby. They're really good in these small areas, too. So now I'm just trying to fill up some white space because I don't write a whole, whole lot in this. Actually, in my weeklies, I don't haven't been writing anything, which is why I figured I'd go ahead and start 